So yeah, we had down Shaggy Amos, we're going by Roscoe's. Alright, food All truck. Right. And some, some, good. some seafood tacos, and there's a man in there running and thing hardcore now, we're in serious now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm glad we're heading on to the whole community too, down in Shaggy Amos. Canada, James, a Canada man, you, Valles, that clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, so, on the way, before we get to the dining, um, I wanted to talk to you because, well, apart from being KRC old boy, mm. you know, and I must have good days. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your career, I don't even know if to call that a career path, boy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It was all over the place and it, it, it made for an interesting um, discussion, you know, like where it started though. Right, right. Yeah, so I um, actually started in financial services Finance. sector here, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was um, on the stock exchange for a few years and then um, I moved into financial journalism. I was actually working as a business reporter um, at the Express for a little less than a year. Right. Yeah, and then I um, went abroad and um, did a master's in, you know, went to, to graduate school in journalism mm -hmm. and um, Eventually went into financial journalism abroad. Did that for a few years and then decided I wanted to work on the business side of media. Right, right, right. <laughs> I don't know where this idea came from. <laughs> but um, somehow along the way I ended up in, you know, marketing. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been in marketing for like the past decade. Um, digital marketing. Mm -hmm both on the client side and on the agency side. Right. I was actually started on the client side in-house mm -hmm. and then worked on the agency side briefly and then went back mm -hmm. on the client side. And um, you know, I've been largely in this sort of you know content marketing, content strategy area within right. the digital space, user experience. Um, yeah, and that, that, that's basically been the journey. So it's been like financial services to online journalism to digital marketing, mm -hmm. basically. Now, for me, it was real different working in that type of environment, mm. the, the marketing environment yeah. abroad versus here. Um, how do you, how you describe working in that environment? Um, well, it depends whether, whether you're on the client side or on the agency side, right? The agency side more on so. The agency side. Yeah. Um, I think on the agency side, it's, I mean, it's pretty freewheeling. Mm. Um, a lot of creatives, a lot of... Um, a lot of big ideas that people want to pursue mm -hmm. at any given point in time. Then well, they have a big market and big clients, big so they clients, have the budget. Yeah, to... big budgets, right. that, that kind of thing. Um, I think, for example, if I think about my time at the agency that I worked at, we were working for two car brands, mm -hmm. and um, we were doing sort of their full digital offerings, so everything from their websites to their in-store kiosks, their digital display kiosks and all of that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, I mean, as I said, you know, it's just a lot, of, a lot of big ideas, sometimes a lot of big egos around the table, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, competing. Mm -hmm. But um, at the end of the day, I think, um, for me, it was, you know, just, just being a part of that whole process right. and seeing things go from idea to completion mm -hmm. was, was really the key, the, you know, the key takeaway for me right. as somebody who had never worked on that side of the business before. Mm -hmm. Um, as you know, being on the on the client side and reaching out to agencies and delivering briefs, saying, "Hey, this is what we want," mm -hmm. um, and then actually seeing how that's done from the inside, mm -hmm. I think that was, um, you know, that was a key piece of, you know, my education as a marketer. Right. Yeah. I would say from here, you're not extremely data driven. There is mm -hmm. some data um, when it comes to media and marketing right but um how important was the was that in the process for you because here if you have the data you use it if you don't have it well well you yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically. yeah 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 but mm -hmm. I, I think everything is is, is pretty much data driven mm -hmm. you know that um certainly the work that i've done right. um whether it's you 
know, just basic ROI, you know, going to your manager to get approval for something, it's like, okay, you know, it has to be a, a 3x return. Mm -hmm. um, and that's measured mm -hmm. at the end of the day. It's not like you're just spending money and then <laughs> nobody cares about how it was spent, right? Right. right. You, could, you could tell in very precise ways how people interact with a piece of content, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. um, you can, you know, you can go back to basic metrics around, you know, how people interact with the website, mm -hmm. how many people fill out a form, how many, how many leads you convert, mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of test and learning that happens mm -hmm. on any given day. And, you know, the only way you can really test and learn is if you have the data to support the decisions that right. you're making right. regarding, you know, one creative versus another mm -hmm. or, you know, one, one, one agency versus another. Well, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We tend to focus a lot these days on digital, digital, digital. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the best channel for your campaign may actually be an analog, yeah. an analog one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So just knowing how things are performing mm -hmm. at any point in time is important for the client to know how they're going to allocate their budgets mm -hmm. across channels um, at any point in time. You know, we have digital agencies here that the client will come to for a digital campaign exactly. or for the digital arm of a campaign right. that's run by the traditional agency. Yeah, yeah. There's a huge divide. And um, yeah. only now we see an integration into people doing like full services, or we call it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, when I was on the agency side, it, mm. it, it, was, a, it was a digital agency. Right. I mean, that's, that's all it did. Mm. So, um, but at the same time, we were collaborating with full service agencies that were right. doing work for the same client, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... Um, and like how tight did that was? That was like a real close working relationship. It was close, right? yeah. So like close. from inception of idea, yeah. right up. Right up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so as you say, so everybody's sitting at the table, mm -hmm. um, discussing the ideas, and then it's like, okay, Yes, the digital component, you guys go deal with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if, you know, there, there's, there's, there's somebody overseeing all facets of the campaign, yeah. you know, all, all facets of the, the execution, mm -hmm. basically. To backtrack a little bit, <laughs> and we start with the KRC talk and then move on into <laughs> you going from finance into media. Right. Um, did you know from before that or have any kind of idea in terms of how you're preparing from school to what you're doing now? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, I think when I was in, in the financial services sector early in my career, mm -hmm. I kind of knew that it wasn't the right place for me. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And so I started kind of setting things up academically to pursue the career path that I really wanted to pursue, which was something in, in publishing media, mm -hmm. um, the creative sector, mm -hmm. you know. And what drew, it, what drew you to that? Um, believe it or not, it was, a, it was a project that I had very early in my career here. Mm -hmm. um, I used to have given the, the assignment to produce the, the annual report right. for, the, for the stock exchange. Mm -hmm. So every year, the management is basically give me this budget and say, okay, you make it happen. Right. And so I go out and be able to, you know, hire the photographer and the graphic artist right. and okay. the, you know, contract with the printer and mm -hmm. you know to, to get this whole thing done. Mm -hmm. And you know, sort of involved in it from you know conceiving the idea, the cover design, all that type of stuff. And as I was doing it, I was like, wow, you know, this thing, I, I kind of like this, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's really where it started for me. And I started to, to think, you know, this is something you need to, to think about seriously and in a bigger way. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just started to, to chart a, a, a course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that sort of has led me to, to this point in my career. I think, um, I, I feel like we've reached a, I think we reached a point where we're starting to, starting to get right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I, right. Think, I think like five years ago, we were still kind of finding our way, mm -hmm. you know, feeling feeling our way through the through the weeds kind of kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. But I've been seeing a lot of things that, to my mind, um, are being really well done now. Mm -hmm. People are paying more attention to to the details, mm -hmm. to, to small things like you know how people interact with content on their site. Right. Um, some of the you know some of the UX considerations that people weren't really paying attention to before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm 
seeing some more of that. I'm, I mean, it's in, in the social space, I'm seeing you know a lot more creative executions. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you know we're at a point where you know several of the major businesses here are starting to get it right. Maybe there's some lag depending on whether you're a small or medium business, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of the, the, the bigger players are are starting to understand okay. the importance of digital, the yeah. importance of having a social presence, the importance of having great content. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to, I, I would like to believe that they're starting to put the budgets behind it mm -hmm. to make sure that they have really great um, creative executions and that they're able to, you know, to see the returns on those executions. Mm -hmm. so, uh, we almost at this spot there, right around the corner. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to fish, right? It's fish. Yeah. Well, it's seafood. <laughs> seafood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seafood. Yeah. Fish and lobster, I believe. Yeah. yeah. But um, I like this spot. The spot itself, I find as an intriguing one in that uh, right opposite small boats there. Oh, okay. um, it's a food truck. So it's not like, um, I don't think you have tables and things out as yet. But it's the type of thing that I, I call it a real best first date spot. Yeah. yeah, you know, that kind of place that they can take somebody okay, and have okay. a nice evening, bring the oil basket with your wine and that kind of thing <laughs> and do that thing that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I like it for. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, we try the um, seafood tacos by Roscoe's and yeah, nice, I like it, but, you know, fresh ingredients. Um, some nice sauces, nice aiolis that they're doing here, and well prepared seafood. That's the, that's the key, that's the real clincher. So, well, I know when I'm trying this, um, the maracas, which is a, a fried shark taco, and well, yeah, and then again, you also have like octopus, you know, Dex getting in on the octopus, then you know, I'll get some after, and well, the tuna, which I find is the one, like, I, I really like the tuna, the tuna, same things. So um yeah, good eating man. I think I get it a nice rating on the true factor. It up there. Um check it out, chudatiti.com. Check out the review.